The Clown Prince of Crime surely has a lot of admirers out there in Gotham City and across the DC globe. While many of those admirers are probably extremists or just individuals tantalized by the idea of an eccentric serial killer, it's hard to deny that the Joker carries some major sex appeal for those who don't mind his whole criminally insane shtick and the tendency to murder. It's whatever your girl wants, right? Right. So today we are counting down all of the people in the comics who the Joker has hooked up with over the years with our list of the top 10 people that hooked up with the Joker. Also a heads up friends, we do mention some spoilers for the recent Joker film starring Joaquin Phoenix. You've been warned, we'll give you a heads up before they happen. So keep those ears open. Starting us off in at number 10, Thomas Wayne. What if Batman and the Joker were in a relationship? Well, that's the reality that was presented to us in the Flashpoint timeline, the Flashpoint Paradox, in which Bruce Wayne is the one gunned down in the famous alleyway scene instead of his parents. The tragic event causes Martha Wayne to go insane, becoming the Joker. Thomas Wayne goes down the opposite extreme path. He becomes Batman in search of revenge. The two become arch enemies, with Thomas Wayne using more violent tactics than Bruce ever did in the Prime Earth continuity. He uses guns, he develops a drinking habit, it's all very toxic. I mean, when and your wife is the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, number 9, Haley Fitzpatrick from Earth 37. Here we have a hookup that occurred on Earth 37, otherwise known as the Thrill Killer universe. Thrill Killer is a one shot comic book that was published in 1997 and takes place in the year of 1961, during the transitional period between the dawn of the sexual revolution and the Vietnam War. This alternate universe gives us a female version of the Joker named Bianca Steeplechase, who is the nemesis of Batgirl and Robin, the two protagonists in this story. She poisons Robin by making out with him, pretends to be the Mayor's wife, kidnaps and tortures Bruce Wayne, and a bunch of other evil fun things. In addition to that, she's got a girlfriend, the Earth 37 alternate version of Harley Quinn, who goes by the name of Haley Fitzpatrick, although she would use Harley Quinn as her alias name. Because of the whole being married to Gotham's mayor, it's believed that these two defy regular relationship norms, and that they share an open relationship. I mean, makes sense for the Joker. Up next, number eight, Batman. Okay, so yes, this is not canon, but the Joker hasn't been romantically involved with a lot of characters, and we got 10 numbers on this list, people. Despite never being romantic together, with the exception of our Thomas and Martha Wayne number earlier on in this list, the Joker over the years has been depicted as being in love with the Caped Crusader. While that love has never been canonically reciprocated, the Joker has always been very open about it. For example, in Catwoman issue 14 during the New 52 Death of the Family arc, the Joker flies out admits to Selena Kyle that he is in love with Batman, responding to her question of whether or not he loves him by saying, of course, isn't that obvious? The whole arc seems to imply this dynamic, with Batman even later stating that he saw love in the Joker's eyes when the villain looked at him. Plus, in The Dark Knight Returns, Frank Miller would later state that the whole Batman-Joker mythos was a homophobic nightmare, and he intentionally wrote the Joker as a gay character. Regardless, there is a ton of fanfic and fan art featuring the two of them shacking up together, let's say. So, hey, might not be a reality in the canon, but at least there's a lot to riff off of there. The Joker's a complicated man with complicated feelings. And to be fair, Bruce Wayne is like, he's pretty hot, so. Can you blame him? And at number seven, Harleen. Harleen is one of the latest miniseries set to come out as part of DC's Black Label, an imprint geared towards more mature readers. In Harleen, we'll be witnessing a different kind of origin story for Harley Quinn, one which reimagines her descent into villainy and her relationship with the Joker. It's been described as a Greek tragedy in three acts, with Harleen being a brilliant young psychologist who takes drastic measures to heal the mentally ill. She has discovered a revolutionary cure for madness after studying criminals and sociopaths in Arkham Asylum and with the GCPD. But then she comes in contact with the Joker and everything changes. This is a much more intimate portrayal of their relationship, with Harleen being a woman who is foremost a psychiatrist in this iteration. Trapped in her own mind, comprehending her own psychosis and understanding the severity of her actions, yet constantly trying to justify them because she's in a defective relationship with the Joker. Moving on to number 6, Three Face from Earth 3. We're venturing into Earth 3 for this number, an alternate universe in which strength is valued above all else, and it's believed that the weak deserve annihilation. A little harsh. It is home to the Crime Syndicate, an alternate version of the Justice League where all of the heroes are villains instead. Now on this earth, the Joker's alternate, known as the Jokester, is actually a hero. 
the arch nemesis of Batman's alternate, a villain named Owlman. He began as a struggling stand up comedian at a place called The Last Laugh, and one night he witnessed the club's owner being murdered by Owlman. So he begins to redirect all of his jokes and his act at Owlman, which does not go over too well. Owlman slices his mouth open, giving him his permanent grin, and then murders his manager Harley Quinn, which begins the jokester's search for vengeance. Anywho, he is with a woman named Evelyn Dent, who he loses when her split personalities develop. And she becomes Three-Face, an alternate of Two-Face of course. The two have a daughter together, Dula Dent, who has made appearances in other related works. Moving on to number 5, Terry from Batman Secrets. Aside from the main female love interest that come to mind when you think of the Joker, there have been a few obscure individuals who have been mentioned or have made very brief cameos as his love interest. Terry from Batman Secrets is very much that. For starters, Batman Secrets was a 5 part series that came out in 2006 and depicts the Joker and Batman going at it, as they usually do, in a non romantic way. In it, the Joker commits a heinous act that depicts how heroes are treated by the media and the public's perception of them. But back to Terry. She is a woman he has a short fling with, a very sadomasochistic fling in which the Joker tricks her into thinking that he is a sweet, sensitive man with a big heart. But really, when it comes to getting physical, the two end up beating each other until both of them are badly injured and are bleeding. So. Yeah, I mean, follow suit with what he would be like, I'd imagine. Mm. Alright friends, our next number has the spoilers for the 2019 Joker film that we mentioned in our intro, so heads up, you might want to skip this number if you haven't seen it. Jump ahead by like a minute. You'll see the background change behind me. In at number 4, Sophie Dumont. In Todd Phillips' recent Joker film starring Joaquin Phoenix, Arthur Fleck aka the Joker develops a bit of a crush on his neighbor in his apartment complex named Sophie Dumont, played by Zazie Beetz. She is a single mother and has a young daughter. And gradually throughout the film we see that she becomes a product of Arthur's delusions, with him fantasizing about the two spending time together and her being highly supportive of all the things he does. They share a kiss as well. But it is hardly sexual, more so he's possessed possessive over her, using her as a dependent to prop him up. Now, Many critics have drawn similarities between the way Arthur sees Sophie in his mind and the way in which the character in the comics sees Harley Quinn. There's a lot of shared similarities there. It all comes to an end though when Arthur breaks into her apartment while her daughter is asleep, creeping the hell out of her, and her ultimately kicking him out. And for those of you who have seen the film and were wondering, he does not kill her. There was a scene deleted from the movie in which that was confirmed according to Todd Phillips. Alright, back to the spoiler free zone. Up next at 3, Alicia Hunt. Alicia, a model, was the trophy mistress of a former boss of the Clown Prince of Crimes, a man named Carl Grissom, back when he was known as Jack Napier, according to the film's lore. She would cheat on her husband with him prior to his disfigurement and full transformation into the Joker. Grissom is actually responsible for Jack becoming the Joker, having found out about the affair and sending one of his goons to have him killed off, which resulted in him being knocked into a vat of chemicals. He clearly survived and killed Grissom himself, taking over his criminal empire in the process. Alicia was in the most supportive of this transformation. When she first saw him, she fainted, and then later when she reappeared, she had been badly scarred thanks to the Joker having used sulfuric acid on her face. And and she dons a creepy little porcelain mask. She has a terrible fate, eventually having a mental breakdown causing her to jump out of a window and kill herself, although it is implied that perhaps the Joker was the one who threw her out of the window instead, since he attempts to make moves on Vicky Vale shortly afterwards. Besides, the Joker's reaction to this tragedy? Not a great one. He finds it highly amusing, saying, you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's totally into her, does he? Also worth noting, this character was created before Harley Quinn was created in the animated series. Fun fact. That's why Harley wasn't used in the movie. Moving on to number 2, The Unnamed Wife. The Unnamed Wife is the woman who appears in The Killing Joke, or that's what she's referred to as since a few iterations of The Joker have hinted to a family life he had prior to becoming a criminal. Now, In The Killing Joke, her name is Jeannie, and the two of them were having rotten luck financially. Being in dire straits, the Joker, before he became the Joker, pursued a life of crime in order to keep them afloat. Now, On the day of his first major heist, he would learn of her death, which came about in a freak accident. It was one of the variables that pushed him further over the edge. Another Unnamed Wife is mentioned in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight, in which Heath Ledger's Joker mentions that he had a wife who gambled their life savings away, and he had her face cut up by loan sharks, so he gave himself a permanent smile in order to show her how much he loved her. Instead, it freaked her out, and she left him. That being said, many of his stories in that film about how he got his scars are questionable, as he is an unreliable source due to his madness and tendency to lie a lot. And finally, in at number one, Harley Quinn. Duh. Arguably, Harley Quinn is the only relationship of the Jokers that we've truly seen play out in the panels that was canon. 
and reciprocated. She was first introduced to us in Batman the Animated Series as a jester esque female sidekick for the Clown Prince of Crime, but was later integrated into the comics. I'm sure the majority of you know the story. Before she was Harley Quinn, she was Dr. Harleen Francis Quinzel, a psychologist at Gotham City's Arkham Asylum. Now, according to Gotham City Sirens, the reason why she chose to pursue psychology as a career was to understand her own broken and dysfunctional family. But those plans came to a halt when she met the Joker and fell under his manipulative spell. Their relationship has been both adored by fans but also highly criticized for being toxic, with the Joker often abusing Harley or showing little concern for her well being. For example, he has kicked her into a vat of acid in the past. He's locked her in a prison filled with the corpses of other women dressed up as her. In one iteration, she has a daughter who she's kept hidden from the Joker in fear that he would murder her. He's offered her up as a volcanic sacrifice. He's threatened to cut her face off, with him wanting her to do it to prove her loyalty to him. It's all very, very messed up. Harley is the person who knows him the most intimately, and to think that this is how he treats the people he loves, well, that speaks volumes about just how insane he really is. Alright, there we have it, friends. Who do you think the Joker should be with romantically? Give us a shout in those comments below and let us know. If you guys dug this video, you know the drill. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it, share it with a friend, and be sure to subscribe to Top 10 Nerd if you haven't already. We'd love it if you stuck around some more with us. Alright, in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.